गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग जे जे वी आर हियर टुडे अगेन टू ब्लेस द लॉर्ड एंड टू प्रेस हिम फॉर व्हाट ही हैज डन इन आवर लाइफ्स एंड वी नो दैट ही इज देयर ऑलवेज विल नेवर लीव अस नॉर फॉरसेक अस एंड कमस्त ना पोक आयो लहत जान वी नो दैट द वर्ल्ड इज नॉट गेटिंग बेटर Um, good morning Rose Marie. We know that the world is worrying, but I pray that you are in peace. You are doing good. Um and then uh, we'll just go to the Lord and uh, we know that he will help us and he will never leave us nor forsake us. Okay, so uh, we are uh, Um, doing, uh, doing our morning devotions, and uh, I pray that uh, the Lord will help us today. Okay. Uh, regards to everyone, uh, we know that uh, this day will have a great day, and God will uh, prepare us for another work. Maybe you are working in the office, or maybe in your home. Uh, the Lord will always help us. Good morning, Jenny. And uh, the Lord will take care of us. Okay, we will pray first. Father, we thank you for this morning that you have given to us. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this privilege to uh, really go into your word and that uh, we can see a lot of things that sometimes we forgot. And uh, help us, Lord, to remember these things again. And we know that uh, you are here with us and you will help us today in our decisions in our going out and coming in in our de- in our thoughts and in our speech in our actions I pray that would uh, give us lord um presence of mind always as we put things together as we uh, go to our work and uh, keep us safe especially in this time of uncertainties and um, maybe the virus is still there but uh, you help us to be to be protected from this in Jesus name we pray amen okay so uh, our verse for today is uh, found in uh, John chapter 14 okay Let me look for my John chapter 14 here. And it says that we will be reading in verse um, 7 um, 15 till verse 18. Okay? So here is our verse today. In verse 15 it says if you love me keep my commands and I will ask the father and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever the spirit of truth the world cannot accept him because it neither sees him or knows him but you know him for he lives with you and will be with you i will not leave you as orphans i will come to you that uh, verse or passage is found in john chapter 14 15 to 18 and uh, we will dive into it okay this morning because this is very important and i pray that this will help us in our work for today in our decisions every day and that in our emotions and our feelings that um, he will help us by knowing the truth okay uh, we will not uh, go into some hocus focus things <laughs> uh, know the truth so that um, uh, you know what is your foundation you know what is really the true the truth and you could hold on to it okay 
And um, in verse 1, uh, there is a passage here in verse 1. It says, Do not let your heart be troubled. Okay. You believe in God. Believe also in me. So, Jesus Christ is now... Um, have the idea that uh, they are in trouble. And in verse 3, it says, My father's house are many rooms. If that were not so, I would have told you, I, I am going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. So there is a truth here that... Um, Jesus Christ is going away. And for example, if you have a friend who will tell you that, oh, friend, best friend, um, BFF, I am going away. And that friend maybe will feel uncomfortable and he will feel lonely. Okay, and that is true. Now, loneliness, okay, loneliness can hit anyone at any time sometimes you might not even feel lonely for an obvious reason and what you're expecting could always be connected to other things like depression or anxiety but it's true that a lot of people tend to feel lonely during big life events they said alone in the middle of the crowd Maybe you're moving house, you're moving residences or transferring residences. Maybe you're attending another uh, company or work. Or maybe to students, they're attending another school away from their classmates. Maybe your parents are getting separated or divorced. Or maybe you just feel like you've outgrown your friendship group. Or that they are starting to get into things that you don't really interest you. Your interest is different from others. So you feel lonely. You feel alone. All of these things could be making you feel lonely and lost. And you might find it hard to connect with people around you. I will give to you some truths about loneliness as described by Carolyn Beaton. Okay, classic Carolyn Beaton. First, Carolyn said that loneliness is contagious. He said that Dr. Nicholas Christakis told New York Times in a 2009 article. And he said this, listen to this. If you're lonely, you transmit loneliness. And then you cut the tie or the other person cuts the tie. But now that person has been affected and they proceed to behave the same way. There is this cascade of loneliness that causes a dis disintegration of the social network. So the first thing, truth about loneliness is loneliness is contagious. If you feel lonely, then another person will catch it and he will feel lonely also. Okay? Now, Caroline um, Beaton says also, the second reason for loneliness is the internet makes it viral. Okay? It's not a coin coincidence that loneliness began to surge two years after Apple launched its first commercial personal computer and five years before Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web. Ironically, we use the internet to alleviate our loneliness. Social connection no longer requires a car or a phone call or a plan. Just click and it seems to work. World of Warcraft players experience less social anxiety and less loneliness when online than in the real world. The internet temporarily 
enhances the social satisfaction and behavior of lonely people who are among likely to go online when they feel isolated, depressed, or anxious. Now, these people are lonely and then when they feel uh, lonely, then they just go online and they feel when they feel isolated, depressed, or anxious. Just a uh, one button, one click away. And the Beaton, Caroline Beaton, continues to say that the internet can eventually isolate us and stunt our remaining relationships. Since Robert Put- Putnam's uh, famous 2000 book, it says that in the Bowling Alone, the, world, the, the book is called Bowling Alone, the breakdown of community and civic society has almost certainly gotten worse. In your work, in our work, in Uniship, are we still bowling? <laughs> you are not bowling alone, but uh, you are bowling with another person, okay? We bowl, okay? Today, going to a bowling alley alone, Putnam's uh, central symbol of social capital deficit would actually be definitively social. Instead, of saying we're bowling and a host of other pseudo social acts online uh, there is because there is a uh, play uh, of a game in your internet um, bowling okay you can bowl there and so you can bowl alone and so this, that is a very different kind of a social uh, thing but I would like to say that being alone today is already a virtue okay so when your child says oh i wanted to be alone i'd like to be alone it happens to your child it happens to my child and they wanted to be alone and when they go to their um, internet and their phones you cannot disturb them they wanted to be alone because that loneliness will make them Uh, happy at least for a while okay it seems that connecting to other person is not needed anymore due to uh, our phones and due to our online gaming friends and so they think that um, loneliness can be um We say can be healed through those uh, things you know but Jesus knows every fiber fiber of our being he knows our deepest character he even knows our thoughts your deepest thought whether it be good or bad and he knows that you need someone to talk to and to be with you Jesus knows the needs of the disciples in uh, the passage that we have uh, read this morning the background of John chapter 14 is that Jesus told them that he will go away. Starting with a betrayal and crucifixion. And then he will be resurrected and he will not be seen anymore. For almost four years they were together. And at that instance, Jesus will be gone. As uh, so we have read in verse 1 of this chapter, it says he is going away. But he will prepare a place for us. Now, being away from uh, the disciples we will create a vacuum in their hearts that not even internet can fill. This is one of the emotions that Jesus wanted to help us. Loneliness or being alone. He knows that um, there will be a time in our hearts and our time in our lives that we will be alone. But Jesus promised his disciples that he will do something concerning being alone. And again, in verse 1, it says, let not your heart be troubled. Jesus knows that they will feel neglected. They will be persecuted when he, Jesus Christ, will be gone. They will be tired of the persecution. 
they will be discouraged. They will be wandering from one place to another because of the persecution. But Jesus promised them. Okay? Jesus promised them in verse 16, it says, I will ask the Father, and He will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever. The Spirit of Truth. Now, Jesus Christ is sensitive in the feelings of the disciples. He said, I will go away. And of course, they will be lonely. And that Jesus promised them that He will do something concerning being alone. And we have read that uh, Jesus Christ said, I will ask the Father. No? that He will send you the Holy Spirit. He will be sending the Holy Spirit big time to them. Okay? He will send the Holy Spirit. Now, in this passage that we have read, we see three important things about the character of the Holy Spirit. Number one, He is an advocate to help you. Okay? See the verse again. The verse says, I will ask the Father and He will give you another advocate. So, this is, an, this is one of the character of the Holy Spirit. He is an advocate and then He will be there forever. Number two, and He is the Spirit of Truth. And that is the Holy Spirit to them. Okay, one of the definition of advocate is an advocate is anyone who adds that voice by representing another person in court. Or by supporting or working toward a particular course of action. He's a person who pleads for a person, cause, or idea. The synonym of advocate is advocator, exponent, or proponent. So this will be one of the works of the Holy Spirit in the lives of the disciples and in our lives also. He will be a lawyer. He will be an advocate. And Jesus knows we need someone to speak in behalf of us with God the Father. In Romans 8, it tells us that the Holy Spirit is uttering words in behalf of us to the Father, translating our deepest emotions of hurt that we cannot express. Uh, sometimes we have this uh, feeling, hurt, or whatever feeling is in our hearts that we cannot utter, we cannot put it into words. But you know what? The Holy Spirit will translate these emotions to the Father. Okay, He will be speaking in behalf of us. The Holy Spirit will utter words in behalf of us to the Father, and translating our deepest emotions of hurt that we cannot express. So the Holy Spirit is translating these unspoken words to the Father. That is how the Advocate helps us, okay? He is there also to plead our cause. He is a lawyer, okay? And that is the Holy Spirit. Now, another character of the Holy Spirit is omnipresence in verse 12 or in verse, um, I think in verse 16, okay? Uh, there in verse 16, it says, He will give you an uh, another advocate to help you and be with you forever okay he will be with us forever he will be with the disciples forever okay so another character of the holy spirit is omnipresence he is present everywhere always there in every place the tenure of his presence is forever he will not leave you he will not forsake you so this is so comforting that when we feel we are alone, the Holy Spirit is just a prayer away. Acknowledging that the Holy Spirit in our lives is in you, is in me. If we acknowledge that, then He is there to help us. But sometimes we forget that there is someone living with you. <laughs> Sometimes you forget that the Holy Spirit is with you and in you. No, we are never alone. If the Holy Spirit is in you, 
when you receive the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, then the Holy Spirit will not leave you. Because when you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, then the Holy Spirit seals you, He marks you, and He will be with you. Okay? So that is one of the characters of the Holy Spirit that the, the Lord Jesus Christ will give us, or God the Father will, will give us. He is with us, and that He is our Advocate. Okay, another character of this person, the Holy Spirit, is He is the Spirit of Truth. This person will not give you empty promises because He is also the truth, like the Lord Jesus Christ. Because they are one, in essence, God. The Holy Spirit will be the person of truth that will guide you in your decisions in life. He will not lie to you. Okay? Maybe some of the persons that you, uh, your friends, will lie to you. They will not hurt your feelings. But the Holy Spirit will always say the truth. But it's okay. Then, to keep you in the dark. Sometimes, we say that truth hurts. But again, it's okay. Because the Holy Spirit will like to help you. When, there, when you have a cut, maybe you have a wound, then the medicine will be very painful maybe, but it will help you. Okay? The, the Holy Spirit will not leave you in the dark because He will not try to hurt. Uh, you will not leave, the Holy Spirit will not leave you in the dark. Not like other persons that they will try to not hurt your feelings. But the Holy Spirit will speak the truth in love to you and convince you to tell the truth, to do your work honestly, and to think only what is the truth. And that is the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. We have a valuable friend, a friend that Jesus introduces to his disciples. And He is also introducing this Holy Spirit to us. The person that they will never leave us. He will be with us forever. And He is the Spirit of Truth. He will help us. He is our Advocate. Jesus knows our needs of being lonely. He gives just the right person to help us. And that is the Holy Spirit. Today, if you are not in sync with the Holy Spirit, you might do things that would that you thought will give you security. Maybe you go to places to alleviate your loneliness or you are connected to wrong people and to feel that loneliness in your heart. But instead, they will hurt you. You know, friend, uh, here is Jesus um, introducing uh, the Holy Spirit to you and to me and to you, all of us. Have Jesus in your heart and the Holy Spirit will be given to you as well. I am not saying that uh, the loneliness will never bother you. It will because we are in this sinful world. But at this time, you have a friend that when loneliness comes to you, then you can just dial Jesus and the Holy Spirit because He will come to you. This time, even though you have loneliness, maybe you feel alone, you have a friend, Jesus, and you will never be alone again. Jesus and the Holy Spirit will be with you till the end. Maybe you are in a condition right now that you are alone and uh, maybe some no one is, is calling you or teaching you or maybe be, to be with you. But you know what? Jesus is there. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Okay? So the Holy Spirit will be with you forever. Jesus Christ will be with us forever. And if you don't have a friend to call to, when you are alone, then the Holy Spirit is there. Jesus Christ is there. He will never leave us nor forsake us. 
Okay? Now, friends will be there. Internet will be there. Game bodies will be there. But, they cannot be there always for you. The Holy Spirit will be with you forever. May the Lord bless you today. As you um, continue to um, uh, work during this time. And may the Lord really bless you. Enjoy the company of the Holy Spirit today. While you are accomplishing your work today, the Holy Spirit will be your helper, He will be your advocate, and He will teach you the truth. Okay? Good morning, everyone. And the Lord bless us all. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for this very beautiful morning that you have given to us. Thank you, Lord, because you are there. You will never leave us nor forsake us. When you feel lonely, you are there. You will send the Holy Spirit to us. Uh, he will help us and He will be our advocate. He will help us there forever. And that He is the Spirit of Truth. Thank you again, Lord, for today. And may Your name will always be glorified in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. And the Lord God bless you. The Lord will help you today. God bless.